Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is our new makeup releases. Are we gonna buy it? Are we not gonna buy it? What do we think about all of these new things that are coming out in makeup and beauty and the such? Yeah, so if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Carolyn. Uh, I do mostly reviews, some dupes, some swatches, talking about makeup, mostly eyeshadow, but I'm trying to branch out. I'm trying other things. Um, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, and this type of video was, uh, I believe, started by Samantha March. I will link her down below. There is a community playlist for this, so if you're interested in seeing more content, I have also linked the playlist down below. I have yet to figure out how to put my videos in that playlist. If anyone knows how to do that, <laughs> you know, leave me a comment and tell me how I'm supposed to do these things. That would be very helpful. Joining us today are both cats. There's Betty, looking very suspicious. What are you doing, bud? And he's, he's grooming himself. And Stella is the blob right here, who, she is alive. She moved. So anyway, so they're hanging out with us back on the couch. Um, yeah, okay. So there's quite a lot to get through, but before we get started, I want to just say that I have now officially closed the giveaway as of this video going live, and I will be uh, commenting on the person who won down in the comments for that video from two weeks ago, okay? So uh, go check your comments, and um, if I don't hear from that person within, I think, about a week, I will go to the second person on the list. So what I've done is I just assigned a number to every comment that I got, well, the first comment by each person, and did a random number generator to do that. So I tried to make it as fair as possible, okay? My plan is to do another giveaway I actually really like it. I like giving people presents, so it's kind of exciting for me. I know it sounds silly, but I, I really do. Um, and I've already been buying for it. Like, a lot. There's already a whole other bag full of stuff for another giveaway, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and I thought we would do the next giveaway when we hit 250 subscribers, if we can get there. I'd be really excited. Oh my god, it'd be so cool. <laughs> um, yes, so there will be a giveaway coming up again in the future, so if you didn't win this time, stay tuned. I will do it again. Um, I don't know how regular I'll be able to make them a feature on my channel, but I want to say thank you to you guys for watching, and I really appreciate it. Um, I love reading all the comments and kind of chatting with you through them, and I feel like I'm getting to meet new people, and it's, it's really exciting for me, so I really love it. Anyway, let's crack on with all the stuff. All right, scooching over here. All right, so I got everything up on Instagram. Um, I do go through a whole bunch of different uh, postings and things. So some are directly from the company's website, some are from Trend Mood. They're kind of all over the place. Now, because I only do this once every two weeks, there's a lot of products to talk about. Um, so I'm gonna kind of, as we're going, pick and choose the ones that I'm interested in that I actually wanna talk about. Um, Shall I just start off by saying how angry I am? I'm not angry, okay? I'm trying not to be an angry person. How sad I am that I don't live in the US because the Sailor Moon collection was restocked, but only at Ulta. And there's no Ultas here in the UK. And there's still no announcement yet as to the restock online, so I can get my me with those blushes. You can tell I'm still fixated on this. It's okay. I just really want them. Anyway. But apparently, on Ulta, because they were on Ulta as well, uh, the blushes sold out. <laughs> and I think they're probably sold out in most Ulta stores. So, they gotta like restock like heavy on those. That would be my particular suggestion. ColourPop, if you're watching, okay? Restock those blushes, we all want them. Since we are already talking about ColourPop, why don't we go ahead and start there? So I'll put the pictures up kind of vaguely here of what we're talking about. So the first up from ColourPop is their new brush. Oh, sorry, I'm probably a bit too close there. Their new sponges. Okay, so they have a set of five sponges. You can actually buy these all individually, but the whole set together is $20, I believe. And you have five different types of sponges. So let me just zoom in here. So you have a velvet, a detail, an hourglass, a complexion, and a silicone one. So I don't really use sponges Normally, um, I prefer the way a brush looks or just using my fingers. I just haven't really gotten the feel for using sponges, so for me, they're kind of like not, not particularly my thing. Is there a sock on here that's in the viewfinder? No, it's not. 
Um, but what I did do is I actually did buy one of these. I was gonna get the set, but I figured it was just go to waste. And so the one I picked up was the velvet one because I had, I think it's the most similar to that, what was it, the Juno & Co one that Nikki Tutorials always used. So I was kind of interested in that one. Anyway, sorry, there's a bit of noise in the background. My partner's having fun chatting with his friends who were on lockdown in Italy at the moment. So, um, <clears throat> So I didn't get the whole set. I knew I wasn't going to use it, but I wanted to try one of them. So I have ordered the velvet one. We'll see what it's like when it comes in. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a sponge and that it'll work fine. So fingers crossed that it's all fine. So the other thing, so there's two more releases from ColourPop. Um, the first one is the Marvelous Mauves collection. All right, look, guys. I did buy this. I bought the whole kind of kit for it, mostly for you. Okay, because I wanted to compare it against some of the other recent ColourPop releases and say how different it is. For me, this looks a bit on the mm, okay, not that exciting side of things. The colors are pretty, but I think I really want more brights right now. I just, I think everything is such a bit shit at the moment worldwide and I want bright colors. I want to feel happy when I'm looking at makeup. I want to feel creative and motivated and this to me is a bit subtle, a bit soft. It's probably gonna be very beautiful. Okay, I watched that girl Shay yesterday um, doing the li her live swatches on these, live eye swatches. Um, and actually they did look better than they look in the promotional pics. Um, so I am, I am interested. Uh, blushes look pretty. So I'm interested in these blushes. So that's something that I am kind of happy that I'm getting. So we got those. And then there's two Luxe glosses. So I have tried the Luxe gloss formula. I did buy one and I do really like it. Um, it's not maybe my favorite gloss formula, but I do think it is really comfortable to wear. And you know, I, I don't know if you've watched my other videos, but I really don't enjoy wearing lipstick that much. I'm wearing the Luxe Velvet right now and I do find that very comfortable. So this is coming, so expect a review of this. Now the last ColourPop thing, I don't, I don't know how to feel about this. Okay, is the new Disney collaboration with ColourPop, which is for the new Mulan live action film. All right, I love Mulan so much. Probably one of my very top Disney movies for a very, very long time, only to be surpassed by Emperor's New Groove. Best one ever. I don't care, it's my favorite, okay? But I still really love it and I have a real soft spot for Mulan, the film. And so I saw this kind of pro, like a little bit promo leaked and I thought it was just originally gonna be like a little lip kit or something like that. And I was like, okay, that's cute. Maybe, maybe I'll think about getting it. But then now I've seen all of the promotional pictures for the whole kind of ensemble and I am underwhelmed, okay? I, I mean, the palette is pretty, but it doesn't look all that different from like the California, what is it, California Love, California Dreams? What is that called? California love palette that they came out with in the autumn except for like a pop of red okay but otherwise it doesn't really look that different to me the lip trio is interesting okay so there is a velvet what have we got in here uh there is a luxe velvet liquid lipstick luxe cream lipstick and a luxe gloss and so the lip products I'm kind of interested in. I'm worried that the Luxe Velvet is going to be too similar to the Chinese New Year ones that came out, so then it would be too it would be too much of a duplicate to what I already have. The blushes don't really look like blushes to me. They almost look more like bronzers, so I don't know what to expect with those. The face stuff, the Jasmine Tea Face Milk and a Gold Lip Mask isn't my jam. I wouldn't want to pick those up. So I think unless you guys really want me to, I'm probably gonna pass on this collection, which actually makes me really sad because I do love Mulan, but it's just something about it, I'm just not feeling it. Anyway, I love ColourPop, I love Mulan. I'm just missing something. I don't know what it is. Anyway, let us move on to something that is not ColourPop. So this one is the new edition in the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection. It's their orange one that's come out now. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I kind of, uh, I don't know. If they were gonna come out with them so close together, I don't see why they just didn't come out with them at the same time. And then you could pick which one you like better. Um, because I might've preferred to get this one versus the one that I got. I mean, I like the pink one, it's fine. I mean, the quality is kind of meh, but it's fine. But I really liked like the green in this one, the yellow, the turquoise, the peachy 
the peachy blush would be more my uh, my alley. But it would be very difficult for me to get this because it is an Ulta exclusive. The only other place you can get it is Sugar Pill and then I would have to pay like huge shipping charges to like get it over here to me. Um, so I like it, but I'm not gonna get it <laughs> because I kind of can't. And I'm not that excited about it. I think there's a few too many browns, like regular old browns in there for me. That's it. All right, what do we got? What is this? Why do we have this? To quote one of my very favorite YouTubers of all time, Angelica Nyquist, who asked for this? Pure plus trolls. I think actually she didn't mind these. I think she she uh, did this in a uh, go on to the wishlist or not last week. So I don't know anything about trolls. I remember trolls from when I was a kid, the little like plastic guys with all the hair. Um, so I'm a bit confused. I don't know if this is related to that. I don't really understand. I don't think it is. I think there must be. Is there new troll movies out? I'm not. I'm not up to date with that. Okay, hang on. So looking at these palettes, like just individually. So imagine there was no like trolls related stuff in them. I think some of these are cute. I like the blue greeny kind of one. Obviously that's kind of my, my vibe at the moment is these blue greens. Um, the pinkish one is kind of okay. The purpley one is kind of okay. I'm not that excited about them. So it's going to be a hard pass for me. Um, also, like I said, I don't know anything about this branding. I think, is one of these coming in the trend mood box? Uh, I also can't get that because they don't ship globally. Um, so I don't know if you guys get this or are interested or try it or something, let me know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious about it. Um, so Mac is continuing on with their Mac Selena line. Again, I don't know if these ones are new or if they are just repeats for stuff that's come out before, but there is a lipstick and I think a highlighter. Extra Dimension Skin Finish with a rose embellishment. I'm kind of tempted by these. I may have to ask my mom to go down to MAC and go pick those up. Don't worry, mom, I'm not actually asking you to go down there right now, but in the future, maybe. Um, anyway, so those are coming out. I am tempted by those. I do kind of like them. I'm interested to try more from MAC. I've only tried a very, very few things from them. Um, every time I go into the shops, I feel very uninspired. So I think I just have to take the plunge and go in and actually try some stuff, put it on my face and be adventurous with it and not worry too much. Okay, something else that's coming out that I'm definitely, this one I'm not interested in at all is Kylie's skin. So first off, I've said this before and I'll say it again, I'm not interested in anything the Kardashians are putting out. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not into that. But this is a broad spectrum SPF, uh, face sunscreen. Um, great, it's not gonna be for me. I have to really be very careful with the sunscreens that I choose, otherwise I will break out. I realized this a couple summers ago when I was in Greece uh, for work and um, I just was breaking out so bad and it ended up being the sunscreen I was using. Um, so I have to be really picky about that now. So from that perspective, it's not for me. From the Kardashian's perspective, blah, blah, from the Kardashian perspective, it's also not for me. What's next? Ooh, okay, so there appears to be a new product coming out from Natasha Denona. I'm gonna have to get some better pictures of this one because all I have is like this little video that's playing, which is a new face glow cream shimmer. So it looks like a, it's a highlighting stick. So it looks kind of similar to like the Fenty matchstick, I think, but this is like a, yeah, it looks really similar to those. So it's a highlighting stick, comes in three shades, suitable for all skin tones and types, light, medium, and dark. So I am kind of interested in this. I think I've maybe been unduly harsh with Natasha Denona and I know that a lot of people really do enjoy her products and me, I'm starting to understand that a little bit more because since I got the face kit, the uh, Love Glow face kit, I've really, really been enjoying it. I really like the way that the cream blushes look on my skin. I feel they're more flattering for me, especially with kind of textured aging skin. So I do enjoy them. So I may pick one of these up. I'm quite curious to try it out. I'm actually curious to try the whole line from her. Okay, what do we got? What else is interesting? Oh, okay, I think a lot of people already talked about this, but the but Benefit is coming out with a new foundation. So this is the Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation, which is in 12 shades, which I think we can all agree is a terrible shade range. Um, I'm not gonna go into that. I, it's not like, look, I'm very pale. So for the most part, I can find a foundation that works for me. I just think, come on guys, get, your market is bigger than this. 
than these like eight colors, okay? So why don't you cater to that? Um, so there are 12 shades. Um, it's a stick foundation. So one of the issues with the, the number of shades in this is that these are stick, as I said, a stick foundation, which in my understanding means that they're gonna be quite full coverage, which means that you have to get a pretty close match to your actual skin for it to look good. It's not like a sheer one or a buildable one or something like that, which your skin shows through a little bit, so it's not so bad. Um, in this case, you really would need to now have your exact color. And if there are only 12 shades, I think that's gonna be very, very difficult. So I'm tempted to try a Benefit. Um, I think the only thing I really loved from Benefit was they had like a really nice under eye concealer at a time and I, I did enjoy that. So I don't know, is this the one I'm gonna try from them? not. I also don't want a, a full a full coverage concealer. Um, I prefer just doing a little bit like right now. It's not concealer. Full coverage foundation, sorry. Like right now I'm not wearing foundation. I'm just wearing some concealer kind of spread lightly across the face. Just kind of like take down some of the redness and take down some of the um, spots on my face. So meh, probably not gonna get it. All right, what else do we got? That looks boring, that looks boring. Um, some of this stuff I have to skip because I know that I can't get it. So there's like a collection from Revlon, Tropical Vibes. I mean, Revlon is here in the UK, but we don't get a lot of these big collections um, that come to the States. So, you know, I don't I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get this. Another, another one that I thought looked really interesting, but I'm not gonna be able to get unless I wanna pay a lot of money to have it shipped is these two new, um, palettes from BH Cosmetics. So we have this Colore Vivace, and I think it's like Romantic Nomad. Let me see if I can find the other one. Yeah, it's Romantic Nomad. Um, and so those two, you know, I'm really interested to try BH Cosmetics. You can buy some BH Cosmetics here in the UK from Boots and from Beauty Bay, but they tend to be the older products, so not the newest releases. So I don't know how long it's gonna be until these get here, and by the time they get here, they might not be things that I want anymore. So I am tempted by them, but again, it's unlikely that I'm gonna be able to actually get my, my paws on them. Okay, we also have a new collection coming from Sigma. So this is the Cor de Rosa eyeshadow palette, which is 49 US dollars, that's quite pricey. 40, uh, 40, 14 matte eyeshadows in matte, shimmer and metallic, launching April, 2020. So I've seen a couple of different pictures of this one. So there's this one I'm gonna show you and then also this one. And they look completely different in both in the different lighting. So I don't actually know what colors this is gonna be when it comes out. Is it gonna be really dull? Is it gonna be more vibrant? I think I have all of these colors in another palette, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know. This color story isn't really doing it for me right now. It's a bit meh. It's not that exciting. And if it's more on the browns and kind of neutrals that I'm not, it's not gonna be something that I'm gonna reach for personally a whole lot. Um, I am interested to try Sigma's eyeshadow formula. I haven't tried anything from them. I've never tried a Sigma brush either. So I am interested in, in trying more from them, but for me, I'm just not that excited by it. So I think I am going to pass on it. So something that I have picked up and hopefully I'll be getting it tomorrow. We'll see. Um, is a new Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara, um, Extreme Volume Mascara. Um, I went ahead and ordered um, a couple of things from Anastasia Beverly Hills, so I have two new palettes coming, very excited. So I have the Jackie Aina palette, which I've been coveting for quite a while, and then the Amrezy palette, um, which I thought would be fun to kind of do some looks with. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and get the mascara. I got the little version of it, um, because if I don't like it, I don't wanna have wasted a huge amount of product. Um, so that is coming, so we are go we're gonna give that one a go. What else do we got? There's a lot, but a lot of it is really boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, okay. Ooh, yes, Fenty. So Fenty is coming out with cream blushes and cream bronzers. So bronzers, I can kind of take it or leave it. Obviously, I'm not, I don't really wear them. I don't really understand how to use them correctly. So I'm not that excited about the bronzers, but because I like the Natasha Nona cream blush so much, I thought that these cream blushes might be really nice. So I may actually pick one of these up. I was kind of looking at the colors here and I think like the petal poppin, the kind of peachy one might be nice. I don't know. I also like strawberry dip. Those are both really cute. Yeah, so I might have to pick one of these up. We do have 
pretty good access to Fenty here in the UK. They're at uh, most larger boots now have like a Fenty display. So I definitely think I'll probably pick one of those up. Oh yeah, gotta get back to that one. Uh, Morphe has a collection coming out. It's the 24A Artist Pass Artistry Palette. So it's a slightly smaller palette for Morphe. So good job, you guys. Um, you have the Artistry Palette, which costs 29 US dollars. There's lips, there's a brush set, and there's a setting mist. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on these. Um, I bought some recently some products from Morphe. Um, if you watched uh, yesterday's video, you'll see that I have been trying them out. It's not a formula that I feel works well for me personally. I do feel a little bit difficult to work with. Um, sometimes the colors just don't want to blend as nicely as I want them to blend. <clears throat> also, I don't really care about this to be honest with you, but yesterday after I did the look that I, I had, which was very, there was a pink underneath, my eyelids are very, very stained and it isn't something that I usually see with eyeshadow, so I was a bit surprised by that because even though I'm used to working with like hot metallic pinks or purples or something, it, it stained them really bad and it stained my arm as well. So I'm, I'm hesitant to keep on diving into Morphe, especially for those more pigmented colors, which this palette looks like there's quite a few of them in there. There's a new palette coming out for Fizzy Art. I think this one just looks super cute. Petite Pro Chouchou. Um, I like the color Melon. I like the color Popsicle. I love this whole color story in here, but I'm gonna wait on it. Make sure I really want it because I already picked up a palette, the Paris Edits from Busy Art. Um, it just came in the mail last week, so I'm gonna be reviewing that one next. And if I really like the formula, then maybe I'll pick this one up, but I'm, I'm kind of holding off until I know whether it's a formula that I like or not. We'll see. So Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with four new luxury eyeshadow quads um, and four new matching matte and metallic eye color magic eyeliners. So there's four quads, four pencils, um, and you have a blue neutral quad, you have a pink quad, you have kind of a greeny grungy one, which looks all right, and then kind of a peachy brown one, which is kind of okay. They are very pretty. Guys, these are way too expensive. They are way, way, way overpriced. 40 pounds, 40 pounds for four eyeshadows. I think that's too much. If you've watched my eyeshadow collection, video, you know I have those like four Tom Ford ones. I bought them in the duty free shop. It was a one time purchase. I'm not, that's not the type of makeup I tend to purchase because it's, I think it's too expensive. And the liners are 21. I, I don't know. I think that's too much. I don't know that I'm like the Charlotte Tilbury girl, woman, person. I don't, I like bold, expressive, dramatic looks, and I think these are really made for subtlety and softness, and that's that's not me. I am wearing a relatively subtle look. It's just a single eyeshadow from Lethal Cosmetics, review coming this week. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna pass on those two guys. I'm passing on everything. I feel really boring. I'm like, I don't want this. All right, speaking of boring, oh, this is me being salty. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be salty, but have you seen the new Melt Cosmetics release? It's the Rust palette. So from what I understand, it is a extension of what they did for their Rust stack. So there's six new shades in this. So the palette itself is, is pretty, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. If you love browns, love those neutral colors, the yellow in there looks beautiful, okay? I'm not saying anything about that. Then this, if you love those colors, then this is probably gonna be a good palette for you. Me, I have it. Okay, and this time I'm not being very exaggerated, exaggeratable about it. I mean, come on. Have you seen the California Love collection? To me, it looks the same. Okay, so I, I know I don't need it. I really want to support Melt. I like them. I like the fact that it's independently female-owned brand. I love that. But these last two releases have been really lackluster for me. They're just... I'm just not that into it. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. What do you think? Are you in love or are you like, Meh. not quite? Jin. Okay, so let's do, let's just do one more. Let's make this a shorter episode this week. Um, a lot of the stuff is out. I'm not that excited about, or it's not, I don't feel it's worth like wasting a whole bunch of time on it. I know that sounds so rude, but there's so much in here that just does almost nothing for me. Just, I, I, 
I don't know, uh, maybe it's just me. So the last thing I wanna talk about is the Menagerie Cosmetics Pastel Pup Palette. Guys, this is so cute. I would love to have this palette. Um, I love the packaging, it's super, super adorable. Um, and then I love this rainbow pastel look. I really am interested in it. I'm probably not gonna get it. I do wanna order from Menagerie Cosmetics, so I probably will in the future make an order from them. But to me, it looks a little bit similar to the Sugar Pill Fun Size palette. And that one already kind of, they're not pastel, but they are definitely on the lighter, kind of, I don't wanna say chalky, because they're not like chalky texture, but chalky looking like that kind of, well, pastel, like like pastels, like uh, chalk, uh, yeah, chalk pens, pencils or whatever. So, but I really like the way this looks. I think it looks super cute. And I wanna just kind of remind ourselves that pastels can have a lot of intensity and vibrancy to them if the formula is really good. So if you're looking for a different pastel palette compared to all the ones that have already come out, this might be a good option. It's an independently owned company um, in the States, I believe. Um, so I think this looks really cute. I would be tempted to pick it up. I think I already essentially like have it in my collection with things, so I'm probably going to give it a pass but I do think it is very, very pretty. Okay, so one of my very favorite brands of shoes is Onitsuka Tiger, and they are coming out with a collaborative makeup collection with Shu Uemura, which is a really popular Japanese makeup brand, and I am like so pumped for this. So there are two different palettes, okay, based on their kind of most iconic shoes, all right? So I have like, five, six pairs of these these sneakers. They're really good. It's, um, they're just comfortable and cute and they make some really pretty colors. So there are two different collections. So there is the blue and red one. Um, and so that one's up here. And then there is the yellow, black and blue one, which is here. Is there a third one? I think for now there's just the two. And there's some lipsticks, there's some, there's a mascara, there's like pencils, there's like all sorts of stuff. I am so, so excited by these. So I'm gonna definitely try and pick these up when they come out. So I think they're coming out in May. May 1st is supposed to be the date whether anything gets pushed back now because of, you know, things. Um, I don't know, but I'm very interested in these. The color, the palettes themselves are not that exciting, that dramatic, but I just, I something about this just looks super cool. I love the packaging. I think it has like a little zip around it. Super cute, love it. Definitely gonna pick one of these up if I can. Fingers crossed. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, you could hit the like button down below. It's free, easy to use. That's so lame. <sighs> also, if you enjoyed this and you wanna see more content coming from me, um, there is a little subscribe button hanging out down there as well that you can go ahead and press and come hang out again. I would really enjoy it. Um, I do post three or four videos a week right now. I've been pretty good with my four video a week schedule. I will very soon be having to work from home quite a lot. Um, so I might be even more prolific with my, my videos in the future. So we shall see. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a really lovely day wherever you are. And right now, remember to take care of yourself and take care of each other. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.